Hey Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be one of your general November readings. We're going to jump right on in here, see what we get for you. What is going on for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Uh, I read over there as well. I also read on TikTok a little bit. Um, I have another channel and I read on Patreon. When you follow me over on Patreon, you can ask me a personal question every month. So if that's something that interests you, everything is down below. You have the Six of Pentacles as your overall energy, okay? So I think there's something new that you're investing in here. Some of you, you could have your moon in Taurus or your moon in Libra. You don't necessarily have to, okay? Um, in the past, you do have the sun showing up. So I think something was exposed to you revealed to you in the recent past I feel like you're you're in an energy where whatever this was um, you're realizing there was like a false sense of security or a false um, uh, how do I describe that here Capricorn with the sun showing up, this was something that made you happy, but I don't feel like it was actually real. You know, I feel like there could have been a fantasy here. In the current energy, you have the Ten of Wands. Um, so the person in this card, their back is turned to the sun. So I definitely think that you're working towards the real sun, <laughs> um, the real uh, fantasy becoming a reality here, basically. And you have the King of Wands in the future, okay? I also... Yeah, with the, with the lion in the background here, I also feel like there's something that you're waiting to tackle, um, waiting to pounce on. It almost seems like there's something that's uh, not the right time just yet, but it's coming, okay? What is going on with the sun? We got Leo energy here. <clears throat> What's going on with the sun for Capricorn? The Fool. Mm, the Seven of Swords, the Moon. Secrets, betrayal, uh, something like this went on here. You have the Fool. Um, there could have been something involving a family. Um, the Ten of Cups is on the bottom of the deck here, okay? This could have been somebody you thought you were going to have a family with or combine families with, something of that nature here. Um, a family could have gotten in the middle of this is how this feels to me. But the Fool showing up, I also feel as if this is something that possibly never fully started. Um, that could be the case as well, but the Seven of Swords, you could have definitely felt betrayed or lied to, maybe you were. The moon is showing up here. There's just a lot that you didn't know in the past, and I think that, uh, something was exposed here that caused you to invest in something else. Now, the Ten of Wands can be carrying a responsibility, could be carrying a burden. You could still be healing from this at this time. What's going on with the Ten of Wands? What's going on with the Ten of Wands for Capricorn? Yeah, you have the Four of Cups showing up here. I also feel like you're erasing something from your mind here. You know, the four cups are resting on her head and the, um, the fluid is like spilling out of those. What's going on here? What else do we have? Somebody could have their moon in uh, Cancer. Eight of Cups. Looking at this door. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to be done and it's not just on your healing. You know, I feel like there's a lot of work that you're doing right now just on yourself in general. Um, you're climbing these stairs here. Whether you see that or not, you're climbing these stairs. What else do we have for Capricorn here with this Ten of Wands? So you're packing up. There could be some travel going on in the month of November. Uh, there are a lot of people celebrating, okay? Um, so if you're one of the people who are celebrating Thanksgiving, you could be traveling to see family or something of that nature, friends. Uh, what do we have here? What else? Ooh, the tower. I also feel like there's some more, like I said, there's some more work left to do here. With the tower showing up, I think there could still be little chunks of this uh, fantasy here. Whatever it was that you built up, I feel like you're still kind of tearing that down. But I also get this sense that there's this, you know, the tower can also represent a burst of energy. You have the high priestess showing up. I really get the energy of discovery with the high priestess. You know, it's like there's more to unpack. There's more to discover is how that feels to me. Uh, we got Pisces energy with this, uh, Scorpio and Aries with the tower. But I feel like there's a lot that's being revealed to you through this ending. Um, you have the king of wands in the future. The Emperor, the Nine of Swords, the Strength card, and the Queen of Cups. 
the stars on the bottom of the deck feeling really inspired king of swords underneath that there's something that you are studying here it really feels like it's got to do with yourself there's a mirror in the high priestess and in the devil this uh, girl's looking in the mirror here this could be some toxic habits it could be um, other connections that you're realizing oh well that one doesn't serve me either let me just cut that out too right that's the kind of vibe that I feel here and with the star it's also a card of healing hope renewal rebirth faith I feel like you might see a big surprise soon you know with the star showing up it reminds me of um, you know, it, it was a couple weeks ago, I was starting to look into, uh, like the yearlies for each sign and you guys were the luckiest sign. Capricorn was the luckiest sign. So I find that interesting because this lion's in the background here. So I feel like that's what's to come, but in the month of November, you could get a glimpse of, uh, this success that you're about to have. Now you have the nine of swords. I think there's a lot of stress here. I'm not going to lie, but I feel like this is coming from all the work that you're putting in, all the things, people, places, habits you're cutting out of your life that are just not serving you. Um, Queen of Cups is showing up. There's another mirror in this card here. I feel like you are seeing yourself so clearly, seeing your abilities, your power, your capabilities. Um, because for a lot of you, I think you could have been in a connection that made you just kind of lose your confidence is how this feels. Um, or maybe it was a job, like a certain, maybe you had a toxic boss or something of that nature. You do have the Emperor here. We've got Aries. Um, some of you, you're going to have a really strong love connection come in. I feel like it could begin in the month of November, but things would mostly improve, I feel, uh, going into the year ahead, okay? But strength is showing up here. It's a card of resilience, okay? It's a card of uh, power. It's a card of confidence, too. It's Leo energy, right? So I feel like you're seeing yourself very clearly, and I think you're getting a glimpse of what is to come in the year of head, in the year ahead of head. <laughs> I want to look at that a little bit more. What else is going on here? The star can also be a card of fame, and you know, maybe you're not like a movie star, maybe you are, I don't know Capricorn, but I feel like you could be getting a lot of attention uh, as well. I feel like your voice is being heard too. The lion is roaring on that strength card. The girl is roaring on that strength card, so I definitely feel as if your voice is being heard um, at a higher level here. Yeah, the magician. This success that's coming for you is going to be insane. What else do we have here? This is something you tried to manifest um, and you couldn't do it through this heartbreak. You couldn't do it through what you were tied to. I like the person you were tied to. They also could have been going through a heartbreak or some kind of stress themselves that kept them down and you kind of stayed at their level. Maybe you weren't aware of that, but I think you did. And now you have uh, new people coming in, new connections and work and business and love. So I love to see it here, Capricorn. Um, I do read over on Patreon, Instagram, TikTok. Um, I have another channel as well. Everything is linked below. If you are interested, it's 333, by the way. Uh, if this is where we part, Capricorn, thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.